Hello, welcome to in Zara's Task Manager Excel template. The purpose of this template is to assist as a tool in remembering tasks that need to be done. This could be used by anyone who needs to keep track of tasks one time or recurring and avoid forgetting them in a busy daily life. There are several free web-based and smartphone-based applications that can do task management. In most of them, if not all, information you enter is actually stored in the cloud. Some people may not prefer that. In other cases, you may have to pay for a software application that can perform this function. For those who like to keep their personal data in their local drives, and for those who don't have the smartphones, and for those who don't want to pay for a separate application to do this function, this template, the free template, could be handy. You can download a copy of the template from inzara.blogspot.com. Let's take a look at the functions uh, that this template performs. It allows you to enter tasks. It allows you to mark the tasks as completed after they are complete. It shows the tasks that are still pending past due dates. It will show you the five day schedule with tasks assigned to each day. It also displays a monthly calendar for reference, which helps you, which would help you in planning your tasks. It also has a printable sheet with all the pending tasks and upcoming tasks for the next five days. Now let's take a quick look at what's actually in the template. So this is the template. The template has two worksheets. The first one is introduction. This gives an overview of the template, what the functions of, and features of the template are. It also tells you how to use the template. The second worksheet is the task manager worksheet. And this is where the task manager template actually functions. It has three major sections. Table one, where you enter your task. Table two, where you update your tasks and the dashboard section where you actually see the schedule, the pending tasks that you have, and then there's a calendar for reference, and there's a little message board which will tell you if there are any errors in your data. Okay, let's get started. The template comes with certain tasks. To start from scratch, let's delete the information that's already here. Delete it. Select all of them and hit delete key. Select all of these rows and then delete key. So when I did when I did these two steps, it was important that I didn't touch the column A here or here because those are calculated through formula. And so please don't modify that column. So now that we have deleted the information here, the schedule is all empty because you don't have any tasks. Now let's start by entering the tasks. So let's start with maybe, you know, pay my phone bill. What type of task is it? You have several choices. You can choose a one-time task, which means it's a, it's, it only happens once. The, you can choose daily, the tasks that happen every day. Weekdays, tasks that only happen during weekdays from Monday through Friday. You can choose weekly where the task will be repeated every week on the same day of the week. Or you could choose monthly, where the tasks will happen on a monthly basis on the same day of the month. So let's say in this case, I'm going to choose a monthly because I want to pay my phone bill every month. And I'm going to say, I'm going to start paying from April 13th, 2013. And I should have entered April correctly. And I want, let's say I want it to happen for the next six months. So there's a drop down menu here, which allows, which allows you to pick numbers from two to 12. 12 is the maximum number of times you can let the task reoccur. So let's say in this case, I want to happen for six months. So as soon as I do that, you can see that the calendar schedule actually updates with a new task called pay phone bill on the 13th April, which is a Saturday. Okay, I'm gonna enter the second task now. Let's say I'm gonna do buy groceries weekly, and I'm gonna say it starts from the 11th April 
and I want to go for five weeks. So as soon as I choose that, you can see that buy groceries has been added as a task on 11th April. And if I do scroll it to see, let's say I want to go to the 18th of April, let's see 17th, 18th. So since the buy groceries task is a weekly task, it will also show up on the 18th as well as on the 11th that it started. So we're into two tasks now. I'm going to quickly enter a few more. Okay, so now we have entered a few more tasks. So that's how we enter tasks in our task manager template. So once you enter the task, you can move over to this dashboard section and you can see your weekly schedule. And then you will also see the pending tasks as of today. And this scheduled section has the number of tasks in these five days, completed tasks for these five days and pending tasks for these five days. In this example here, we have 13 tasks and none of them have been completed yet. And we have, we have all the 13 still pending. So let's take a look at how we can update our tasks. So we will move to this table two where the task can be updated. And we will start by entering a task name. You could also use the drop down here. Let's say write diary. Yes, I wrote it on the 9th of April. So I'm going to say completed. Yes. And as soon as I do that, you can see here that the write diary task has been marked with a check mark. And that indicates that that task has been completed. And you can also see that that task is now removed from the pending task as of today. It used to be five, now only four. And these things are automatically updated as soon as you update your task in this table. So let me choose another task here. Let's say I finished replying to emails on 9th and let's say yes so automatically you can see that the, there's a check mark here and then the pending tasks are updated now let's say i do pay electricity bill now um, okay i finished paying my electricity bill so i'm going to do yeah so you can put a note here saying paid online as well. Let's say today is the 11th of April and you forgot to write your diary on the 10th of April. So you could come here and say write diary 10th April 2013 and you have an option of saying skip instead of saying yes. So what skip does is it removes that task from the pending tasks at the same time it doesn't really categorize that as a completed task. So the completed tasks pending tasks don't add up to the number of tasks because you have skipped one of those tasks. You would choose skip when you don't actually plan to do it or you can't do it any longer because the time has passed. So in those cases, it would be appropriate to use skip instead of saying yes. A couple of quick things about the dashboard. First thing, the calendar for reference you could choose any month here. For example, here it was April, now I'm into May, June. And the calendar here automatically updates and the green shaded cells are the days in that month. And you can easily move back and forth and come back to April again. And the second thing I wanted to point out is this schedule here, you can scroll forward and backward and then that automatically changes the five days that you're looking into. For example, now you're looking at April 10th through April 14th. Now I'm going to click again here and that would make it from 11th April to 15th and so on. The other thing in the dashboard that's worth noting is this message board where you will see errors in the data if there are any. For example, here in this setup, I haven't entered the task type or the due date or the number of occurrences for the specific task. That's why I'm seeing these error messages pop up. So as soon as I go here and then enter any specific, um, so let's say I choose monthly and 
I would let's say I choose a specific date here and it's monthly for I want to do it for four months you can see that the error messages have gone and also if you leave you know, if you have a blank task name that also will show an error and if you have duplicate um, task names that also will show an error these are the five possible error types you may see and it's very important that we don't have um, these errors for the template to function properly okay so let's see how we can print the schedules it's pretty simple once you do you can see that the screen has already been set up to print your dashboard and you go and hit print for you to print a schedule as you can see here there are 20 different tasks that you can enter at any given point of time and if you have entered 20 and you want to still continue to use this template um, just delete the tasks that you don't need anymore and then replace them with new tasks and then i'm going to enter any new task that i want and And, and the template would be automatically updated with your new information. This is how you can use the simple task manager template to manage your tasks easily. I hope you find this useful in getting your tasks down without fail. As always, please share your feedback on inzara.blogspot.com. Thanks for watching.